Here's Arnie the Farmer Beswick, front and center for dinner. Facebook. Uh, at this time, I'd like to go ahead and recognize our PLCI officers, board of directors. So when I announce your names, if you'll please stand and remain standing, please. Again, I'm honored to serve as your president for another year. Uh, currently, our uh, vice president is Vern Howard, who had to fly out early this morning uh, for a job, unfortunately. But uh, our secretary, Peggy Cox. And our treasurer, Simone Young. And I know some of these guys aren't here, but I'll go ahead and announce them. Uh, Don Booker, Don Barlett. Joe Stout, Todd Schaefer, Gail Maker, Ron Sinesi, Merle Green Jr., John Kappelman,
Jane Lucan. Wayne Barron. Jeffrey Reddick. Alan Finney. Greg Gonzer. Ron Bergman. Lars Eppelson. Graham Weber and Arthur Barrett. I was trying to look around real quick as people's coming in, see if we uh, had any of the extra special guests here. I don't know if Marge Sark and her sons are in the room. Uh, Marge, stand up, Joe Martin. And of course, Arnie Baswick up here in front. If I miss any other uh, VIPs, I'll apologize now, but I don't think I spotted anybody else right at the moment. At this time, I would like them to stand up as I announce them. Jim Martin and Bob Dunbar, they are the 2019 USI Local. I recognize them. Come on, Bob, back up. That, that was too quick. We got bad knees, too. But besides these two guys working their tailbones for three years, they didn't do it alone. I would like all of the Keystone Chapter and Del Marva Chapter members to please stand. <laughs> this is one of the few years no disgrace to any other chapter, but uh, They've got so many volunteers that come up that for once, me and Arthur's actually got to enjoy the convention a little bit, so we greatly appreciate it. We noticed that. Chapter President Tom Wright for the dinner prayer. Thank you for the folks that prepared it and that will be serving it. Thank you for allowing us to have this great hobby, particularly for my aunt. And thank you, Lord, for making it safe. We all get home very safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'll ask Ron Berkland up to do the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Thank you. I'm going to call up Johnny Bickle. He's going to do our pledge for us. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, join with me in pledge of allegiance to the flag of our country. If any gentlemen have their hat on, please remove it. Thank you. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Johnny. At this time, 
time, we'll ask the servers to start with the food and everybody enjoy the meals, please. Thank you.
part of tonight's main building. Of this year. 
because that's what we need to carry on this legend to keep it going. So first of all, my committee on the um, scholarship committee, Gail, I'm looking for Gail Magner, and she, Gail, I thought she was gonna be in here, okay? Dan Dickey was the other person on the committee, but he's not here. I wanted to personally thank them. It was a pleasure to work with them. Uh, I want to thank Paul Bergstrom and Tim Dye. We, uh, we had it in our smoke signals and the qualifications and all. But I really, one of my goals was to, of course, hopefully sometime have uh, one of our winners here. Well, this year, for the first year in a while that I can remember, we have family of the winners here. And uh, I would like to actually bring up we have two scholarships. We have the POCI and the John Schwartz. And at this time, I'm going to ask Marge if she would come up. I know a 
lot of him, my husband, and he always used to give out a pre-war and a post-war award. And so after he died, um, my sons and I uh, continued and they would pick out a pre-war and a post-war every year. <coughs> and after doing this a few years, I thought, well, maybe there's some year gonna come that we're not gonna be able to be there. So I thought, what better thing to do than somebody have another award sitting on a shelf than to give out a scholarship to a young student. So anyway, um, this year, uh, the person that won, I'm not gonna tell you yet, um, but anyway, she was, um, she was second in her class. She helps in Special Olympics. She has had leadership roles in her student government. She is a sports person. Um, she's going to attend the College of Charleston. And she hopes to become an orthopedic surgeon. So anyway, um, this is unusual, but she also races motocross. And, and she has learned how to fix her own engines, thanks to her father. Her father was a POCI member, and her grandfather was a POCI member. Anyway, this young lady, um, her first car was her, a 1970 Le Mans, given to her by her grandfather. And the first car she ever drove was a 2004 GTO with a 60. So, this young lady, her name is Mary Price, and I certainly congratulate her. Unfortunately, she's not here tonight. Thank you. checks and things to help them get started coming up here in the fall and we certainly thank you the winner i'm going to read a little bit about them of the poci and if you remember back in in the um, smoke signals there was an article and i'll just briefly touch on um, some of the requirements the member was to be a child or grandchild or great-grandchild of a poci member in good standing Membership number, signature, and relation of all applicants must be in there with phone numbers. They um, qualify as either in high school seniors, trade school, or college. And um, it's judged on academic achievement, honors, and awards, school and community activities, work and volunteer experience, leadership, creativity, and of course, goals in life. And this year, I'm going to read our winner, not the name yet, but um, actually there, I just read yours, March. Yeah. All right, um, this, this year, our scholarship winner comes from Utah, the state of Utah, Haynesville. Uh, their grandfather is Jerry Woodland, who is a member, number 016587. Uh, his grandson Cameron, who I'll tell you now, Cameron, Cameron Barton is the winner, had a grade point average of 3.69, class rank of 317 in a class of 758. He's graduating senior at Davis High School on May 31st, he's graduating. He's been accepted to Utah State and plans to major in pre-med and chemistry. He's been an active member of the school student government, including vice president, and he's also been active in school sports and on the football, wrestling, and lacrosse teams. He was a mentor and judge at the Hayesville uh, Youth Court, working with juvenile offenders. Cameron worked several summers and part-time jobs, including starting his own business, making and uh, planning a power wash uh, with uh, garbage cans years ago. And I certainly, at this time, would like to ask his grandparents, they're supposed to be here, I've been looking for them, Mr. Miss Woodland. Could you come forward?
always full of full of fun and always doing fun things and and uh, he's he's a great kid everybody would ought to have a son like him he is planning on going for on a two-year mission for our church before he starts so he wants to give of himself to others and that's the type of kid that he is and we're so proud of him thank you <laughs> that car, I'm not a 66 anymore, I think there's a picture of it. Um, now, Mons has gotten several uh, proms. Two other, uh, my other grandchildren have taken that little Mons and their dates to the prom. I didn't think I'd ever do that with my, uh, on the original owner on that, on the Echo, about 300,000 miles on that. <laughs> Still a beautiful car. Likes to run about 85 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, Peggy Cox, she's new for the Alabama chapter 43. We got Choice Bailey, three years for the Alamo area, chapter 36. We were there, come on up. Simone Young, she's new with the All American Classic Oakland. She's over here, chapter 30. Dwayne Stafford, eight years with the Arch Chapter, number 14. David Green, 13 years with the Arizona Chapter, 29. Richie Lovin, four years, Arkansas River chapter, number 13. And you might as well stay up there for the Oscar. For the Australian performance audience also. That is our newest chapter, by the way, number 103. Temple right here. We're going to talk about him a little bit later. Chris, Chris Walkow, three years at Badger State, number 28. Are you out there? Someone? If there's nobody here, we'll send them to you. Uh, Dean Felt, eight years, Blackhawk Chapter, 40. Joel Mann, six years, Central Oklahoma, number 60. Very good, that one. <laughs> Gary Candy, 14 years, the Colorado chapter number 17. Tom Young, one year, Custom Safari chapter number 10. Robert Dunbar, two years. The Del Mar Bar, chapter number 98. So we gotta be from there. Richard Bowler, eight years, Dixie, chapter number 72. Tanya Levitt, one year, early time chapter, 49. Nathan Brunner, one year, Firebird Chapter, 87. Miss um, Cisco, I can't pronounce her first name. She's brand new, Florida, number one. Bill and Brittany Wolf, 25 years, the Golden State Chapter, number three. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say that. You're going to run Okay. Paul Bergstrom, 12 years, GMC Trucks Chapter, 93. Paul here? Someone from that one? Jeff and Heather Feast, one year. God's Country of Wisconsin, 101. This is their last year. Paul Bergstrom, eight years at Grand Prix Chapter, number 50. Chapter 50. Mark Henderson, nine years at Hoosiers Chapter, 11. Chapter 11. Michelle Condon, three years at the Illinois Chapter, number 12. Do you hear? There you go. Tom and Tanya Parker, three years, Indian Nations chapter, 38. Brenda Wolf, two years, Kansas City Arrowheads, chapter 45. There you go. Richard Stover, 11 years, Keystone chapter, number two. Bonnie White, 15 years. Lincoln Highway of Ohio, chapter 90. Gary Stoller, 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 10 years. 
Little Indian chapter, 78. Gary Denfrio. Don't remember her death one. Six years. Little Rudy, 63. Key Vinho. Two year Lone Star Chapter, 15. Rick Kaiser, eight years. Louisville chapter number 100. Huh? <laughs> Mike and Jenny Bartley, five years. Michigan White Trackers, number 16. They're not here, but I'll. Jane Lundberg, 11 years. Mid Ohio Valley White Trackers, number 89. Gaines McDonald, three years. Motor City Chapter 91. Rick Pazzo, one year. National Capital Area, 21. Claudia Mathis, 22 years. Nebraska Land Chapter, number 25. Jerry Planty, one year. Northeastern chapter 59. Tony Webster, four years, North Coast, Ohio, chapter 37. Peter Lunago, 16 years, Northwest Ohio, 33. Star Evans, 39. Years, Nutley chapter number five. <laughs> Michael Averman, five years, Old Dominion, number 20. James Black, eight years, Overhead Cameras, chapter 84. Chris Johnson, Johansson, uh, 36, 26 years, Palmetto, chapter 35. Paul Bergstrom, 11 years, PC, PV, chapter 79. Tommy and Vicki Steps, 9 years, Piedmont, chapter number 35. John Berglund, nine years, Pontiac to Central California, 67. Michael Bryan, five years, Pontiac to Illinois, 55. Gary Dickinson, 22 years, Pontiac to Tennessee, 76, chapter 76. Diane Moffat, three years, Puget Sound, number 69. Tom Diet, he's new to San Diego chapter 58. By the way, this guy is on fire. He is, he is on. He's, he's been sending some really good, good newsletters, like all of you. Jimmy Patterson, 11 years, Six Nation National, chapter 60, 52, I'm sorry. Carter Sheen. Seven years, Southern California, chapter number eight. Four, excuse me, excuse me, four. Chuck Catalano, 21 years, Southern, South Jersey, chapter 80. Dan Marsh, three years, Street Rod and Modifieds, chapter seven. Paul Bergstrom, five years, the Tomahawk, chapter number 13. Judy Hertz, three years. West Michigan chapter 46. Barbara Fuller, 19 years. Western New York chapter 9. Barbara Gary Gordon, 30 years and 19 years. 
and non-monthly. Now I've been getting a lot of newsletters for the last month or so, thank you for sending them to me. And I read, have read most of them. There's some fabulous newsletters we're getting out there. And uh, you just, please keep up the good work because it's just so important to get this message out to our, to our members. When we do our newsletter for our chapter, I must send it out to at least a couple hundred different emails just to kind of show everybody what we're doing. And you folks can do the same thing and send it out. So we're seeing what you guys are doing and other, other chapters can see what you're doing. And they may get an idea of doing something. So you can put a lot of things down. Uh, you can put for sale, car stuff for sale. You can advertise. Uh, in fact, we're doing a little recipe thing now. So you can do a lot of, a lot of uh, correspondence with, with the newsletter. So the chapters will, will receive a plaque and money awards for the following increment. We're going to give 150 for excellence, $100 for distinctive, and $50 for merit. Are we ready? Drum roll, huh? Okay, we're going to go with a non-monthly newsletter award. The award for merit is the Illinois chapter. Come on up. $50. They're going to get a plaque and they're going to get a check for $50 for the amount that's there. The award for distinctive distinction is the overhead cameras. $100. Bucks. Come on up. to the Michigan White Tracker Chapter, $150. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get with the... Um, okay, the monthly newsletters. Ones that they send out each and every month. The award for merit. Pontiacs of, Sen Pontiacs of Tennessee. Anybody in the The award for distinction, the Louisville chapter. We have a sleeve up here with your, with your, your plastic one we'll up later and pick them up. I would highly recommend to put them in the plastic first and then put it into the, into the spongy because it means stain and spongy said it means stain it. Stain it. Okay, this next award was tough because we have so many wonderful displays for the chapter display in the room that way. We, we uh, been here since Monday, and they started dribbling in and getting more and more and more and more. They kept getting better and better, it seemed like. So, when you get the plaque, we're going to have first, second, and third. When you get the plaque, we're going to be sending you a little strip that you can put on it. I'll put the, what is it? The name, the name plate will be, will be sent to you at a later date. So here we go. And by the way, I want to thank Peggy and Johnny 
they are amazing folks. And they were the one that did the judging. I had a couple others that went with them, and uh, they actually had a hard time doing it. There are some, some rules and regulations on that, too. Uh, we can't do more than six feet wide. If you do any more six feet wide, it doesn't count. You have to have a roster of your, your, um, your members. We forgot ours. And so there's a few others, so we just kind of keep it posted on what's actually just going on there. Okay, the Award of Merit. Ready? Western Pennsylvania Chapter 51. <laughs> you folks did very, very well on that. Thank you. Okay, the Award of Distinction. The Northeastern Chapter 59. <laughs> now the awards for excellence, you had to go and see this one because it was done so, so, so good. And these guys are on fire also. They have, they have the one. We're going to talk a little bit about them a little bit later. And that's the Arkansas River chapter number 53. Come on. Yeah, that's her mom. <laughs> okay. The next one's going to be the uh, social media. This is the website. I've looked at a lot of websites, I've been on a lot of them, and uh, there's some amazing creativity on these websites, which you folks do. And there's just another way of getting this out to non-EOCI members. There's plenty of guys that fit in gals that uh, don't even know where we're around. And it's just a pleasure to give this award to the Dixie Chapter. Testimony right there. Activities, activities, both <laughs> both. <laughs> okay. This next award is for, I'm going to read a little bit here and I'll kind of add a little bit. The best POCI promotion award. What POCI is looking for in this award is an individual or group that had went beyond the normal activity to promote. POCI and gain new members. Membership is it. This year, we received many nominations for both groups and individuals. So it was a tough, tough pick on this one, too. Each chapter usually has one person that excels in keeping his or her chapter going. POCI also recognizes the degree that the chapters promote POCI, that the group or individual may look for a nomination that has only accomplish the things that he was already looking for. And how we do this is if you gain one member, and by the way, when you fill out, when you get a new member going, I do it all the time myself. I signed up three in the last couple, couple months. To get credit for this, there's a special form we have where we can sign up the new member. By all means, put your POCI number on the lower right-hand corner or you won't get credit for it. So if you have a whole bunch of applications, put your number on it, you already got it on. That way you get credit for this. So when you have one member, you get one month more on your subscription of the POCI magazine. This person got seven. And I am proud to announce and give this person 
plant called Star Evans Nutmeg Chapter 20. chapters of what they're doing. We have a group, and we may think about doing this as well. They use the social media. And these guys have gone wild with this thing. We're going to talk about them in a little bit. Then we have another group that's kind of the old stuff. They got a fire in their gut. And they're going on and they're talking to every Pontiac guy in the world. They do the same thing. And they have done amazing things as far as their membership with their chapter. And Peggy, I'm going to have you call them up and introduce them. Thank you, Steve. 
Now, Steve is a recruiting dog here. He goes to all the all the cruise nights. We have cruise nights multiple times, uh, multiple cruise nights every night of the week here in New Hampshire, and uh, on the weekends. And he just travels around and uh, recruits and recruits. And recruits. But anyway, our chapter was, not, was number 59, founded in 1991. And uh, it was active years ago. Um, I think for the last 10 years, it was an idle book. And then last year, some of us got together and said, we want to resurrect this chapter. So we uh, put together a, a meeting in January where we went to the board of directors. And we had about 22 members at that point. And we're now up to 85. That's been and it's just awesome. Uh, we're looking to uh, recruit the young members. Uh, it's one of our pushes this year. And uh, members, members recruiting members is what it's all about. And just uh, seeing a Pontiac and, and getting those people. So, I want to thank you. Since 1976, they received 100. They have received 100 percent status in voting for a director's election almost every year. They send in their chapter report. They are timeless, tireless group. They uh, put on two car shows. They've uh, done a lot of uh, uh, volunteer work. In fact, they had a, a banquet breakfast last year. And they raised over a thousand dollars for a local charity. Isn't that wonderful? And I would like to recognize this group called the Western New York Chapter Number Nine. chapter around and I'll boast over a hundred members. They require, what's really neat about this is a requirement is they have to belong to POCI to belong to our, to our chapter, which is absolutely great. They brought in 40, excuse me, they brought in 35 members just this year, which is absolutely incredible. Their amazing website and uh, Facebook presence is what, what really does it. Uh, they have members uh, throughout the whole world. They are proud sponsors of the uh, Pontiac class of the uh, GTOAA regional. And I just want to thank these young gentlemen that are doing this. And it's chapter 103, the Australian Performance Pontiac group, right over here. <laughs> Thank you. 
keep up the good work. We may have to kind of maybe some more check but may have to start doing this as well. We talked about it at our director's meeting about, about the same thing. And um, that may be one of the ways that I'm attracting uh, the younger guys. I'm at the trade in one of my cars, we got a newer CTO maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, this is the POCI election involvement. It's been each year we uh, elect new officers for the uh, for our directors. Coming up is going to be every other year, but this year, and what happens is you'll get your smoke signals, a vote ballot. You have all of the ones that are running, but the most important thing you can do is put your cap on. Well, what we did with our chapter is we had everybody bring them in. We filled them. We helped them out. We filled them out. So the chapter with the highest number of percentage, the numbers voting, the junior division was the Western New York chapter at 100%. 100 bucks. Thank you. And the chapter with the highest number of percentage of members voting the senior division with the Illinois chapter with 51%, another hundred dollars. And I want to thank each and every one of you for, for uh, taking the time to fill a ballot out and uh, getting that in. It, uh, it's just, uh, it's really important. Uh, we're going to be doing this about every other year now. And so, um, We'll let up on you a little bit here. Okay, our next one is called the Golden Quill. The Golden Quill Awards are handed out by the editors of Old Time Weekly. Old Time Weekly, I'm sorry. Anyone spending in their newsletters are eligible, sending in their newsletters are eligible for the awards. Divisions for different types of and sizes of newsletters are determined by Old weekly. Anyone receiving an, an award this year has already received it from Old Car Weekly, including certificates of honorable mention. But POCI wishes to acknowledge those members and honor them as well. And this is really an honor here. The national level, luxury level, smoke signals, POCI editor, Tim Dye. Did they do a wonderful job? <laughs> I don't know, where you get a magazine for $45 a year in that, in that quality of a little magazine? I just don't know where It's just wonderful what he's doing. He's, he's um, uh, keeping up the, the good work. And we just applaud for doing that. The regions and chapters with full size, the overhead camera, Jim Black. Is Jim here? Yeah. I don't know who's got the award. Who's got the award? Oh, they already got it. Yeah. We're just making a mention here. The region chapters are subcompact. The rope shaft drive, little Indian chapter with Gary Strobel. Where's Gary here? There, okay, and he's the editor of that. The Pontiac Motor Division, excellent. And that South Jersey Pontiac chapter, right here. And Chuck Catalano, I know he's here. And we have one more, the Tomahawk, which is the Minnesota chapter of the Paul Hurts. We have another couple, the Honorable Mention. We got a couple. Uh, the GM Times and the PC PV newsletter, Paul Bergstrom. He got that award. Finally, the Illinois Pontiac chapter, uh, Shelly Condon. I think she's here. Let's give a hand. At this time, 
Um, I'd like to call a couple of gentlemen up that were the co-hosts of our uh, convention we did today, this weekend, or this week. I think they've done a marvelous job. They've been doing this for three years, kind of putting this together. It's quite a chore to make these, uh, and organizing it, getting your speakers, and your show card field put together and your banquets and it just goes on and on and on. And the, when they all stood up, you could see how many pitched in and out. Admirable. I just, just really admire you guys for doing that. So I'm gonna have Tim Martin and Bob Dunbar come on up. They both have a conversation These guys haven't slept in about, I don't think, about three days, are you? They're waiting for plenty to sleep. But anyway, come on up. I don't know who's going to be the folks on here. But, uh, Mike, come on. Larry said we're only two out to talk for a minute. Bob said he'd take 10 seconds. So we'll probably take the other. Yeah. All right, I can do that. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank everyone uh, for coming, and we hope that we see nothing but smiles because that's what we're all about. We hope that you're enjoying everything that we've put, uh, put together. We have a tremendous, tremendous group of people. We put together a coalition of, of people who didn't know anything about themselves or or their surrounding uh, chapters and we have really really had a good time putting this together and we thank every every one of these guys and gals they did a tremendous job um, we want to thank uh, some of our sponsors um, we have Ames of course for last night and uh, I think uh, last night was a very eye-opening experience for a lot of people. It's about the eighth time we've been there, uh, and we really thank games for that. The brand new pa uh, plating, Bruce Shaw, Butler Performance, California Pontiac, NPD, Jack Tiambalo, GMC, and uh, Buick uh, were gold sponsors. Ren Kirby, Chevy dealer and Buick dealer right next door. Without them, we wouldn't have the trailer parking that we have. Um, the original parts group, Phoenix Graphics, uh, Ram Automotive, about 20 plus patron sponsors. The Gettysburg Area High School, tremendous parking area for us, uh, for, the, for the trailers. And I, I think uh, we all kind of appreciate that, the new trailer. Um, two administrative things for us. Um, parking is at a premium. We have a thousand parking spaces in, in the motel area. And we have over 500 show cars. We have more <laughs> than that when it comes to car, car, hold, hold, car holders and personal cars. The hotel staff has been overwhelmed by our parking, and so we really appreciate giving them the space that they need so they can service our needs. And so um, we've laid out at the, a uh, show field and we're asking people to please use that show field with your show cars and please uh, honor our, our uh, staff members of the hotel by allowing them to use their parking space so that they can service us. We've had a lot of people asking about photos. Our photo people's equipment uh, has uh, been failing because of the heat, so we're bringing them inside. They will be in the Eisenhower room, that's where the model cars were, and the coloring contest was tomorrow so that you can start looking at 
some of the uh, photos that they've been taking of your cars and looking at some of the merchandise that they can produce using the photos of your cars. So uh, please uh, come in and, and patronize our, our uh, photographers. Um, We had some um, gift certificates that, that were giving up, some of them that were donated to us. Um, I believe there's 32 of them. If you look under your placemat, you may be one of the funny people. Um, if, if you are, then what you'll do is you go to registration. That's over. I think Larry's going to say a few words, and then uh, we'll hope everybody signs up to go next year because they uh, this group has uh, done it before and they know how to do it again. So here's a video. Get your kicks off Route 66 in 2020. It's the 48th annual POCI convention at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Gadusa, Oklahoma, just outside of Tulsa, July 7th through the 11th. Join in on fun for the entire family. Just imagine, in one location, a large show field of body acts of openings, 
a huge swath and trailer parking for your convenience. What else is there to do? Well, there are bus tours to area attractions, like the Pawnee Mill Ranch for a taste of the Old West. The Pioneer Woman Mercantile in Pahuska to visit one of America's best known chefs. In Miami, Oklahoma, on Route 66, there's the beautifully restored 1929 Coleman Theater. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, it still remains in business today. Create your own scenic drive on the Mother Road and see famous sites like the Blue Whale, the Totem Bowl, and Vintage Neon. The Gathering Place, a playground for all ages, has been named America's best new attraction by USA Today. Check out the Oklahoma Aquarium featuring amazing aquatic life. Or if you just want to relax, there's a huge variety of food and entertainment options all within walking distance. No matter how or which direction you travel, get your kids at the VOCI convention, July 7th through the 11th at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Oklahoma. Hope to see you there. Speaker there, it's an author on several books. And um, anyway, we're still working on a few of the other uh, tours or entertainment for the week. We will be bringing back the PLCI Drag Night. It'll be on Friday evening out at Tulsa Raceway Park. And um, we really uh, expect a lot. I think we're. Um, I think we can almost guarantee it'll be cooler in Oklahoma than here, maybe. <laughs> but, no guarantees on any of that. But, uh, anyway, we uh, hope uh, the Hard Rock Casino Resort is uh, everything, as you can tell, will be on site. Uh, plenty of room for everything on the property. Uh, right across the street, you can walk to some fast food places if you just want to get away from the resort itself. And um, we should have a lot of stuff lined up for you to go visit and uh, have a good family and fun time. So again, uh, after this evening, uh, they're selling the shirts back there in the corner. Uh, I believe Paul and Mona's back there to take early registrations. And uh, again, they'll be dealing with that uh, tomorrow and also on um, Saturday outside out in the showfield area so uh, we uh, hope everybody can uh, make plans and hope to see everybody in uh, Catoosa, Oklahoma in 2020. Thank you. Thank you Larry. I understand that we're going to have in one of the casinos it's going to be a large large dance floor. Am I correct Larry? Well, Will and I will teach some country western dancing if you folks are up to it. There's one stipulation. You gotta bring your cowboy boots and a hat. Okay? We'll teach uh, whatever you wanna do. Line dance, couple, whatever you wanna do. Anyway, we're gonna do it. We have a door ballroom. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. I think we had a really good dinner. Dessert was good. We had some great fellowship. And again, thanks guys for putting on the show on. You're certainly you were wonderful what you did. Just remember now, 
Saturday night's going to be an award banquet. We're going to have probably we get another hundred here for this. This is going to be a fun night because we're going to give out some great, fabulous trophies. I've seen them; they really look nice, and I think you're going to be proud of those. Again, thank you for the. Uh, what's that?